Uh, yeah, go ahead. Mr. Trump, uh, there's a new blistering ad out in this state of Florida, of course, it votes next Tuesday, Super Tuesday, that accuses you of being unpresidential. In 30 seconds, they have nine examples of you swearing on a campaign trail. These are the A word, the S word, the D word, the F word. Is that presidential? Are you embarrassed by that? I'll be honest with you. I, I saw it. I, I was a little concerned with that ad until I saw it. I think it's better than any ad I've ever taken for myself. I do. You know why? Let me just tell you why. No, I really mean it. I really mean it. I, I heard about the ad and I said, oh, I'm not going to like this. But when I looked at it, and I can be, by the way, I can be more presidential than anybody. I can be more presidential if I want to be. I can be more presidential than anybody. You know, when I have 16 people coming at me from 16 different angles, uh, you don't want to be so presidential. You have to win. You have to beat them back, right? And, but I would say more presidential, and I've said this a couple of times, more presidential than anybody other than the great Abe Lincoln. He was very presidential, right? But the truth is that uh, I saw that ad, and people are sick and tired of being politically correct. And I actually think that ad is good for me. Because in some cases, as you know, I was kidding and I was joking. I have a big audience and I was joking. With words, not so bad, by the way. But I was joking. In other cases, I was showing anger and showing a certain toughness that we need in our country. But I watched that ad and I said, you know, that ad shows a certain degree of anger. And it shows a certain degree, like we're not going to take it anymore from all of these countries that have been ripping us off and taking our jobs and taking our money like we're a bunch of babies, very, very stupid babies. So I watched that ad, and I don't think it's a bad ad for me. I actually think if I had my choice of saying I could have it down or let it run, let it run. Say it again. A lot of parents are trying to figure out how to explain some of the languages you're hearing. Oh, you're so politically correct. You're so beautiful. Oh, look at you. Oh, oh he's so... Oh, I know. You've never heard a little bad, a little off language. I know. You're so perfect. Aren't you perfect? Aren't you just a perfect young man? Give me, hey, give me a break. You know what? It's stuff like that that people in this country are tired of, okay? It's, it's stuff like that. Sarah? Hi, everybody. My name is Mike. This is my YouTube page, Mox News. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, so um, Donald Trump's uh, victory speech from tonight is posted at the alternate Mox News YouTube page. There's a clickable link in the text body of this video. If you look right below the video, um, it'll say alternate Mox News YouTube page. Click here and that'll take you over to one that says C-SPAN Junkie on it. It's a, it's an older page. I'm just posting C-SPAN videos over there so there shouldn't be any copyright issues. Um, it's really rare that there's a copyright issue with C-SPAN videos. Uh, so it's a safe place to subscribe and that way in case if anything does happen to this Mox News YouTube page you'll always be able to find me over there at the C-SPAN alternate Mox News YouTube page. So um, thanks for tuning in and uh, I thought Donald Trump's speech tonight was very good. He can be more presidential than anybody. Know what I'm saying? He's a uh, He's an interesting guy. Not that I think he's going to make a great president, but you never know, right? Um, but it was a good speech. He, he, he grilled Lindsey Graham, called him foolish, said he looked foolish and he won't go away, which he should, far, far away where no one ever has to look at him again. That would be really good, Lindsey. Fucking weirdo. The guy is on some kind of pharmaceutical cocktail. I mean... He got. It looks like he's gotten it, to, you know, to a place where it's manageable. But I mean, he was like, he was really messed up on farm drugs earlier. You could tell. Uh, but uh, I digress. Thanks again for tuning in. Go check out Donald Trump's speech at the Alternate Mox News YouTube page. Subscribe uh, to the Alternate Mox News YouTube page. There's a clickable link right below this video. It says. Uh, Alternate Mox News YouTube page. Click here, and you'll find the. Uh, tonight's Donald Trump victory speech there. It's a worthy watch, I think. It's about 40 minutes, but it's a worthy watch, I think. I actually enjoyed it a lot. So, uh, and he, th he did his press conference thing again, which I've never seen a presidential candidate do. It's very unique, taking uh, 
questions from the press on a night on a primary victory night. It's not something candidates generally do. So, uh, uh, and and also no one's putting anything in my bowl. I mean, not no one. Uh, a week ago, some nice people put something in my bowl. But uh, I eat lunch every day, and it'd be really nice if someone, you know, on a regular basis, if, if you guys could, like, kick down, because I spent a lot of time doing this. Anyways, there's an uh, easy way to make a donation in about two minutes uh, in, in the text body of the video. So, little button that says show more. It says donate to Moxie News or buy Moxie Lunch. I think it probably says buy Moxie Lunch. <laughs>